WordPress is built around plugins, tools that allow us to extend what WordPress can do straight out of the box. And today I've got nine plugins that I would 100% recommend you check out for yourself. Now, before we go any further and I start to go the comments in the comment section, I'm not suggesting you install every single one of these plugins. I am suggesting you take a look at them and if you have a need for them, use them. First on the list is admin and site enhancements. This is a plugin that allows you to very quickly replace half a dozen, if not more plugins to do really simple things. Things like page and post duplication, handling things like hiding the admin bar and so on. So once you've installed it, you have a dashboard that allows you to enable or disable a bunch of functions. And then each one has its own settings if relevant or will enable or disable a particular feature. So for example, if you want to adjust the admin interface, you can hide all the admin notices. You can disable the dashboard widgets. Those annoying little panels you see right on the homepage whenever you lock, yeah, all this kind of crap. You can get rid of all that super easily. So it's an easy, simple plugin that gives you an abundance of options for enhancing how the dashboard works and operates. There's even some security options inside here. So you can limit the login attempts. You can disable things like the XML RPC. Don't worry if you don't know what that is. Generally, for most use cases, you're going to want to disable it. And this is where normally you do it inside the security plugin, but you can do it inside this particular plugin. There's optimization options. You've got utilities. So you've got a bunch of different options. Check it out. Link to the video in the description below where I go into it in more detail. But this is one of those tools that can replace so many other plugins and it's totally and utterly free. Next on the list is Depictor. If you're looking for a slider for your WordPress website, this is one you should check out. The free version, which I covered very recently, has an abundance of options available and should cover for most use cases. But if you want to open up even more options, deal with things like advanced custom fields, dynamic meta information, WooCommerce products, all those kinds of good things, even using AI, then Depictor Pro may be worth checking out. But even if you just want to trial it before you even think about looking at a pro version, check out the free version, check out my video in the description because it offers an awful lot. It's also well optimized, which is something that I know a lot of people are concerned about when it comes to working with sliders on their website. Check out Depictor, link in the description, link to my previous video also down in that description. Now, if you are a Gutenberg user and you are really frustrated the fact you want to show or hide various different parts of your design for various different criteria, like logged in users, logged out users, where they've come from, browsers, those kinds of things, you may want to check out block visibility. The pro version of this, which used to be paid, has now become totally and utterly free. So when you download the free version of this, you have access to all of the options. And this is one of those simple little plugins that opens up an abundance of options when it comes to displaying content on your website using the normal Gutenberg blocks. And it works flawlessly with things like generate blocks, cadence blocks, those kinds of tools as well. You can basically show and hide whatever you want based upon an abundance of different parameters. Check out blog visibility. Like I said, the pro version is 100% free and worth checking out and installing on most of your websites that use Gutenberg or Gutenberg block based tools. Now sticking with Gutenberg, my next recommendation is generate blocks. And you're probably saying, Paul, but there's a pro version. And yes, there is a pro version. And if I'm honest, I would buy the pro version anyway. I have done, I use it on loads of sites. But if you only want the free version, you don't have a budget and you still want to work with dynamic data from things like advanced custom fields and so on, generate blocks. The free version has an awful lot of options to allow you to display dynamic data. You don't need to go to the pro version to get access to a lot of great options. Pair this up with the visibility plugin we've just taken a look at and you have a pretty powerful set of tools for creating great looking websites that load incredibly fast, all using the Gutenberg editor. Like it or loathe it, it is the future of WordPress, at least at this point in time. So we either embrace it or reject it, but these are tools that make it considerably easier to work with and ultimately a lot more flexible. Check them out, pretty cool. Now we've just talked about ACF or advanced custom fields in the previous section. This is a tool that I've been using for probably six, seven years, if not a little longer. And the free version packs an awful lot in there. You've got an abundance of options. It was recently updated to give you access to working with custom post types and taxonomies. So you now have one fully featured tool that you can use to create all of your meta fields, your post types, all those kinds of good things. You can use that in conjunction with tools like generate blocks with 
Elemental with Bricks Builder. They support it. And this is one of the things why I think ACF is such a good option over some of the other ones that also have great features is because it is so well supported across the board. If this dynamic features enabled any kind of tool, you can pretty much guarantee ACF is going to be supported. Again, I've covered ACF in an abundance of videos. I've covered the recent updates and inclusions that have been added to it. So if you want to check out those videos, take a look on the channel, there's tons on there. But ACF, if you want to get into dynamic data, pair that up with some like generate blocks and the block visibility plugin, and you can create some pretty powerful websites very quickly. Now, once I've created my sites, I want to have an easy way of backing up, making sure that I can create staging sites, migrating it to the live server, and so much more. And for the last five or six years, I've been using WP Vivid Backup. The free version, which I've covered an abundance of times, again, links in the description to videos, will do most of what you will ever need it to do. You want to migrate your site? You can do it. You want to back up your site? You can do it. You want to create a staging site? You can do it. All this is in the free version. The pro version has some more features, which personally I think are worth investing in. And I did several years ago go bought the lifetime deal. One of the key things that I love about it is the fact that I can enable a feature that whenever there's an update to any of the WordPress core themes or plugins, it'll create incremental backups of only the files that change. So if something goes wrong, I can roll back to that in a matter of seconds or minutes for bigger sites. And I have a lot less stress when I'm updating sites, especially really important when you're updating sites like elemental based sites or WooCommerce based sites, which have been known to have problems in the past. So WP Vivid Backup and Migration, or whatever it's currently called, that is my tool of choice and one I would recommend you checking out and taking a look at for yourself. Try the free version, and that's probably more than enough for 90% of use cases. But if you want more, the pro gives you those extra things you may want. Now, I recently took a look at independent analytics in my search for alternatives to Google Analytics for the obvious legal reasons with GDPR and so on. And independent analytics, while it's a relatively simple platform, I like the fact you can install this into your dashboard of WordPress. It doesn't have a huge impact upon server load and things like that. However, that might be different if you're dealing with much, much bigger sites. But for the types of sites that I work and operate with, this is a perfect option. It gives the data that I need for most use cases if I want to track things. If you want more advanced features, maybe Google Analytics is still the option for you. However, if you want to give client access to some basic information like their views, the visitors, the sessions, and those kinds of things, as well as some more intermediate kind of levels of options, then I would recommend you test out independent analytics. Again, there is a free version and a pro version. I've used the free version and it's done pretty much everything that I wanted to do. Again, the pro version has some extra features, but if you don't need those extra features, you are going to be perfectly fine with the free version of independent analytics. But if you're looking for a simple, easy to follow, basic information to do with the stats of your website or client's website, independent analytics is one that I would recommend you take a look at. Again, link to my video in the description down below. Now, if you manage or maintain more than a handful of WordPress websites, you'll know it can be time consuming to log in and up dashboards and handle updates and backups and all those kinds of things. So you may want an alternative option. I've been using MainWP for probably close to 10 years now. And this is a simple one platform that gives me access to all the sites that I connect up to it. And then I can easily check for updates, roll out updates, transfer information back and forth. I can run backups from it. I can push information over. So if I want to update terms and conditions across 10 sites, I can do that here. There's so many different things you can do. The platform itself is totally free and there's a bunch of free extensions or add-ons that open up even more options, even things like connecting up to Atterim if you want to have that as your sort of platform dealing with client projects and so on, you can integrate it with MainWP. There are some pro add-ons that you can get access to. Me personally, I simply use free options and the MainWP itself. Now, there are other platforms that do very much the same as what MainWP does, but there's one thing that I really do appreciate about this. You can easily install this on a local computer and then you can only connect up to the internet and have that access your main WP kind of files and everything else to do what you wanted to do when you connect it up. In other words, you get increased security where this isn't being residing on a domain. You can have it on a local computer, use an FTP software, connect it up when you want to, run all your backups, check all your bits and pieces that you want from main WP, and then disconnect, close everything down, and you have pretty much zero potential 
to have your sites hacked or compromised from any kind of thing inside main WP. It's a pretty cool feature. I would recommend checking out. And if you're looking for a platform to manage those websites, main WP would be my one of choice. Now, we all know security is a big, important thing when it comes website. to WordPress. And what I would recommend taking a look at is called Fluent Auth. And what this does is it gives you the ability to do a lot of security things inside a very simple plugin. For example, you may want two-factor authentication. You may want to have a magic login via email so you don't have to store username and password information. Social login so you can connect up to GitHub and so on. You can limit the login attempts. There's an abundance of different things you can do on here. And I would recommend taking a look at the link in the description. But once you've installed it, you get a little dashboard like this. And inside here, you can see when someone's logged in, the IP address they've used, what they're logged in from, and all those kinds of good things. But you can also easily come in and customize everything. So jumping into the settings, for example, you can do things like disabling the XML, RPC, those kinds of things I said about earlier on in the video that you may want to enable to reduce the potential for having kind of security issues and so on. You can have login security. You can limit the number of attempts. You can enable your magic login, two-factor authentication. There's other security options on here as well. You can hide the actual admin address. You can come over into social login, for example, and you can enable this option. And then you can have people sign in from GitHub or with their Google account. You've got your login and sign up forms. Again, you can enable this and you've got a range of being able to create your own custom pages that you can set up to whatever you want and drop in your sort of uh, login and registration and lost passwords all using these simple short codes. And you can also have login redirects. So you can redirect based upon different rules. Their user level, their user type, username, those kinds of things. You may want to redirect them to different parts of your site based upon what they log in as, those kinds of things. So Fluent Auth is a very useful little plugin that I recommend you checking out to give you the added level of security on your website if you don't install something like iTheme Security or Malware, all those kinds of things it's always worth having something like this in the back pocket that you use on your websites. And those are the nine plugins that I recommend you check out to enhance your WordPress website. Check them out, see what you think is useful. Pretty much everything I've covered here has a very powerful free version available. And only if you need the pro version do you need to move up to that particular paid version. But most of them, if not all of them, actually have great free options. But these are my nine choices. What are your choices? What plugins do you recommend that I should check out and take a look at that you think are going to be game changers for me? I'm going to make me want to add these to the next video list that I put out like this. As always, all applicable links are in the description. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tats. Until next time, take care.